Good morning, everybody, from the 2022 Florida RV Super Show. We just got in here for industry day. That's why there's nobody here. We're gonna go check out some RVs. Grand design first? Yeah, let's go check out the grand designs and see what it's all about. Capital grill. Boom. Got a whole griddle set up out here. Outdoor fridge. Everything looks just about the same. All right, this is our floor plan. Let's go inside real quick and see what's changed between the 2022 and the 2018. They got power stabilizers on this one as well. It vibrates. Oh, it opens the other way. That's weird. So this is the 2670 MK, the 2022 model. And it, for the most part, looks like ours, but let me just show you a few of the differences. For one, the design's a little bit more modern, and I, I kind of like it. I, I thought I wasn't going to, but it's neat. It's sleek. You got a little crown piece and all the cabinets and countertops are the same. Everything's pretty much the same, except like little things like down here. There's a little cover to protect like your devices. The fireplace looks a little like a different model. The theater seating as opposed to our pullout couch and the dinette as opposed to the freestanding tables and chairs are just options. But everything else is pretty much the same. The island, the desk, it's just the decor is really awesome. I really like the chrome trim and the contrasting colors. It's, it's nice. It, it's like modern, but it's still Classy. The 10 cubic foot fridge. It's a lot bigger than ours. And all the new rigs are all electric and the solar package is a mandatory thing. It's a, it's like stock. I love it. That's the cool thing. That's probably the only thing that I'm like a little disappointed with ours versus the new one, but we saved a lot of money. <laughs> so we've got a pocket door. I actually love the pocket door for the bathroom. I don't love it for the bedroom, but I'll tell you that in a second why, but this is cool. The pocket door and there's a few little extra storage bits that I really enjoy. I mean, when you're living in a, or traveling in a small camper, because I guess in the grand scheme of things, this isn't that big of a camper compared to, every ounce of space counts. So this isn't an ours, and now actually I think I want to go ask somebody if we can buy one of these <laughs> to add to ours. And this side, we have just open shelves and they've made it, they've put a, a cabinet door on it to make it a little, probably more secure. Otherwise, everything else is the same. It's still pretty great. Oh, hey, that looks a little smaller. I don't like that. I'm sure there's a reason for it. They probably hid away some of the electronics. That's why the bottom's a little smaller, but hey, I mean, you can't win at everything. See, look, let's take a look at this pocket door. You can put a TV there. I feel like that's important <laughs> when you're laying down just to be comfortable. The TV's right in front of you. Otherwise you always have to like turn your head. This is their solution. You put a mount right here and like probably like one of those arm swivel things to kind of put it this way, but you know, this is, this is my favorite. I remember noticing this when we were looking at other walkthrough videos. They reconfigured the storage so now you've got so the other one please the show is now open no vehicles should be inside <laughs> the showgrounds so they reconfigured the storage in here ours is like all the way across and the closet space starts here and then you only get one drawer so i really like i feel like this is more comfortable and look you get two drawers you know socks and underwear and one <laughs> There's a couple of other little things. These lights, I like those so much better. And instead of it being just flat, you got a little cubby with a plug and two USB ports. Put your phone, your book, whatever right there. That's pretty cool. The, oh yeah, this is all the same, except there's no mirrors. It's weird, there's no mirrors. Oh well. Well this solid step seems a little bit more solid compared to the, the, the fold-up one that we have. 
It's weird, once you get to the last step, you're like, whoa, hey, I'm gonna fall. Different style latches. Same size. Yeah. Probably all the same things, you know, your motion sensor lights. So what's yeah. this? That's the uh, power stabilizers. Wow. They have power stabilizers. That's cool. Let's go check out some other floor plans. Ooh, this is uh, kind of the same decor as ours, sort of. It's pretty. Yeah. I like this little, what do you call it? Like a butler's something or a, I don't know. Like a hors d'oeuvre station or something. Yeah. Ooh, that's comfortable. Which model is this? Reflection 150. What's the floor plan? And you know what? Yeah. It doesn't have that, the glass, that weird glass-like design that I don't like. Yeah. So that's really cool. I actually really like this one. You breaking things? Yep. Oh, okay. Just making sure. Let's take a look down here. Here, let me take a look in this. Look at this kitchen. Oh my gosh. Babe. Now that's the TV. This is cool. Man, we need to start making some more money. What do you think? <laughs> I know. Our truck won't tow it? Oh, the bed's beautiful. Oh, wow. Look, I'm already sold. So, I said I'll take it. <laughs> Look at this. We love this one because it's the full kitchen in the back. It's a residential kitchen. Nice. You know, residential appliances. Uh, and what a lot of people do, they'll either one. Oh, these are both beds. So uh, <clears throat> what a lot of people do is they'll take this, this out of here. And they'll just put the office right in this area here. That's what you said about the other one. We were just in the um, the rear living one with the yeah. three couches. Yeah. I hate it because there's too many couches for me. I'm like, why? No. <laughs> well, if it's only the two of you. Yeah. And it is my wife and I. It's only the two of us. Right. But there's a lot of different things that you could do. Mm. There's outlets underneath. You right. can pull it right up here. See right through. Oh, see, this was made for a little work. Yeah, it yeah. was. Nice. And this has, uh, I assume, laundry in here, right? Washer dryer was in here. That's where ours is. Nice. In there. Take the shelves out and wash your dryer was in there. So it just comes with the hookups. But yeah. The hook mm -hmm. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. This is yeah. On slide. yeah. This is the unit that we live in. Yeah. This and you one. like it? Oh. <laughs> You're like, are you kidding? Yeah. What year? I, you, this, this little thing right here. It's it's a brand new one. It's only four months old. Oh. Hold on. I want to look at the kitchen. So when you come back and see this sometime. Yeah. Stay tuned for a future adventure. We're definitely gonna come back to this place. I think it's called Cracker Village. It's similar to yesteryear village, like like at the South Florida Fairgrounds. We did that uh, several years ago. If you look back on some of our older videos, cute little place. So whenever there's a different fair going on, we're totally gonna come back. We gotta check this place out. It's like Florida history. Look at this little thing. Wow. There's even a what TV. Is this? The MyPod. Wow, this is a, a little wall unit AC and like a fantastic fan or whatever brand. 14, That's... so 15 grand. It's, wow. <laughs> it's like a little spaceship, you know? It's so cute. So I assume, oh, it's. Oh no, that's just the shore power. I assume you can pull this with like a little car. Oh yeah. Right? <laughs> little guy my pod. That's funny. That's awesome. These things are awesome. Yeah. Alright, so in what scenario would you need one of these? 
I don't know. You were driving cross. Oh, here, let's look at this other little one too. Which you're one? You're driving cross country, and you're on a budget, or you just do that a lot. I don't yeah, know. Or you're just looking for something small that's easy to maybe tow. With a, just a car, you don't have to get a big old, you know, F three fifty. Yeah. Oh, this is actually reasonable. Like it's a decent size. A little TV back here. It has all the essentials, all the, all the necessities. Let's take out, check out the, is it a wet head? Yeah. yeah. It's cute, and another little bed slash dinette. All the basic stuff. I yeah. wonder what the weight, weight rating is. Because yeah. I mean, isn't that kind of the point for these little guys? Yeah. Let's go look. Yeah. So generally it'll be on a sticker. It's 30 amp. Right here. All right, so the GVWR gross vehicle weight rating is 4,200 pounds. It's got a uh, never exceed of 1,060, so dry so, without batteries or propane, th this rig weighs in at 3,000 pounds. So your your family SUV can tow it? Yeah. Or yeah. minivan? Anything small, probably. Anything, yeah. yeah. What about like a sedan? Yeah, possibly. Maybe. Yeah. Look at these are neat looking. Look at these back little kitchens. Look at this thing. <laughs> It's cute. It's like bare essentials. It's like all you need. There's well, except for a potty, which you'd probably have a little cassette, right? Yeah. Check that out. This is adorable. Yeah. These are the cutest mm -hmm. little things ever. Looks like they're gonna unveil here in just a couple of hours an all-electric RV concept. Yeah. So that's really cool. I can't wait to see this. Yeah. I'm first. glad that Winnebago is the first one to do this. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, looks like a like a Class B or a Class C somehow. Not sure. I guess we'll have to just wait and see. Yeah. I'd love to the be back. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. They got a whole setup here. They're they're getting all prepped up um, for their live stream, and uh, yeah, it should be pretty cool. So this will be our next tow vehicle <laughs> at the end of the show we're gonna take this bad boy home yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> but look it even has air horns oh. um, yeah this is the uh, 2015 sport chassis it's got the big cummins cummins engine air ride seats i mean if you're doing some serious time behind the wheel this is the way you want to do it it's got plenty of room for pull or tow any, basically anything. Lots of room in the back here. Wow, it's like three whole steps just to get in. Oh, you're right. These are comfortable seats. Oh yeah. Wow, I'm so high up. I've yeah. never been in one of these. Yeah, this is yeah. awesome. For sure. I just want to pull this. Oh, okay. Can I, can I? Should I? No. You dare me? No. no. Okay. All right, fine. It's like a childhood, you know. Is it up or not? Yeah. Oh, is it going to be loud if yeah. it... Okay, so I should like block my ear. Okay. <laughs> All right, let me get in. It might be de-aired. I'm going to be real disappointed if nothing happens. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I mean, come on. Didn't we all when we were kids? We see a truck. We're like, <laughs> that made my day. All right, we can go home now. Okay. <laughs> and this is what they call the spacecraft. The ultimate and personal space. Yeah. Let's go take a look. <laughs> oh, look at that backsplash. Wow. The, the mirrors really uh, enhance the. Uh, yeah. This one would be about four feet. 450. As it sits. We're full custom, so. Yeah, you do everything. It's. Did you hear that? 450 sticker. Wow, so you can. They're full custom. Yeah, that's cool. You can do whatever with this space. Look at this. I know. Counter space. I know. Very nice. Very nice. So, what kind of tow vehicle would you need for something like this? This one uh, was designed for a semi, so okay. a Class 8 tractor. Oh, okay. okay. Um, we do. Or Tesla semis. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. That's right. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's we cool. also do travel trailers and fifth wheels. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, it's yeah this is cool. Because, I mean, what's the biggest complaint about just rear regulator RVs? Ugly. Yeah. Sorry. What's the only ones that do painted walls? So yeah. and that sets us apart from everybody. Because what everybody yeah. uses is that fabric yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, 
So what's the oh, construction? Come on, Sam. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> the frame and all that. So the, if you look down in the basement, uh, steel I beam oh, construction. Yeah. Um, then the exterior walls are all aluminum floor. frame. Uh, Mine says the TV's the going above the slide out's yeah. the same. Oh, and the uh, ceiling is molded fiberglass and the roof is molded fiberglass. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like the appliances. Oh, yeah. It's not like the. Let's go take a look in the back here. <laughs> nope. We're, uh, since we're full custom, most people do residential <sighs> furniture, appliances, all of that. Why not, right? This is. I love these countertops. Oh my God, I can't get over them. They're so beautiful. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, look at that shower, hon. Oh, no. Do you see that? <laughs> yeah, it's so cool. Uh, good wow. These are nice. Hold on. Oh, that's good. There's a workspace. Yes. Wow. <laughs> For a half a million dollars, you can have a workspace. Yes. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah. Can you wave in front of that mirror? Yes. No, babe, baby, come here. I'm supposed to did wave? You, did you see that? In front of the mirror? Just wave oh, no. slowly. Just once. Right in front of me. Yeah. Closer. Closer. So just turn the lights off? That's so cool. Ooh. <laughs> Can I have one of these? I know. Yeah. yeah. is an airstream flying cloud and this is a neat little thing well I love the the airstream in general because like look at the dinette it has like a little screen thing and how neat and I'm sure it turns into a bed I like the little little galley but look at this workspace it's neat it's a power desk how cool is that how about finding a spot on the beach you can park at I love, you know, that's Airstream for you. They don't have slides. They may not be as roomy with one, with slide rooms, but they're so neat and they'll last forever, right? Yep, it's going. It's up. So we're straight ahead, pretty much? Sure, we can see it from here. There it is, right there. Oh, there. <laughs> so we just decided to hop on the little tram. I don't know where it's going. <laughs> but why not? Beats walking, right? Yeah, I was just going to say that. Because I am aching for the past two days walking around. You going to play us another honky tonk song? <laughs> well, I guess you can call it that. Yeah. It's about, it's about alcohol. Yeah. There you go. go. The trailer behind us is the new Airstream EStream concept, and it's the future, isn't it? Absolutely. Tell me more about it. So we're debuting this. This is one of one. It's the only one that exists. When you have a car towing it in front of you, it's not dragging, it's following. This is actively following you. It's driving. Yeah, it's driving. So basically, you can get to your campsite, unhitch, get out of the car, stretch, and from your app or your phone, it's just an app that you toggle from. So you navigate it and it'll back itself up and they independently are able to pivot and for a whole 360 degree range of motion you don't have to be wherever you can back up to you can now pivot anywhere on that campsite and enjoy any type of view you want throughout the day or night and I wherever mean, you want to wake up 
You had me at it drives itself. And parks itself. And now it parks itself. Yeah. When can we get one of these? 2024, you're going to see them on the market. 2024, you're going to wait two whole years. I know. <laughs> So this is really cool. This is the new all-electric Volta demonstrator uh, from Grand Design and Volta. And basically what they've done, they have an all-lithium uh, battery set up that they swap out in the generator bay. Let me take a, take a look over here and show you guys. It's really cool. So this is all the, the brains of the whole operation here. It's got, it's basically two um, 30 amp, 120 volt legs. It gives you 240 volt operation. It can run one AC uh, totally off the grid for one whole day. There's a uh, solar on the roof. And what they got here on this truck, they got a special 9,000 watt alternator. So you can keep your batteries all topped off. And I'm gonna show you, they have a special connector. They call it the nitro connector back here in the back and that basically you got power and communications and that talks to your your battery bank and your inverters and all that and keeps everything uh up and running let's jump up in here real quick you know it looks like your standard uh run-of-the-mill momentum but it's not you know like i said it's all electric and hopefully you'll be seeing this uh, from Grand Design here in the future. But they even have uh, the juice box right here. This is a electric vehicle charging station. So if you had, you know, say an electric side by side, like that one sitting right out there, you'd be able to have this up here in your toy hauler and recharge the batteries. And they also have solar on the roof here. Here's the whole spec sheet. It's the 36 kilowatt Volta system. It's got two 3,200 watt inverters, 240 volts. Everything's monitored with Bluetooth, uh, plus 2,200 watts of solar on the roof. This is what we were talking about before here with the 9,000 watt alternator. It's got a 58 volt DC connection. Now Volta brought along this all electric side-by-side -side, and they got that towing in, in the back. and they're able to recharge this straight from the uh, the rig. So the trailer alone has more power on board than this uh, electric vehicle. It's really cool. All right, thank you. Good, good. So I've heard a lot about this. This is the whole lithium setup, all electric? Yep, right. this is a technology demonstrator of our, of, of a, Totally badass Volta system integrated into Total. Yeah. Um, the intent for production is it would be an 18 kilowatt hour um, advanced lithium ion NMC graphite high energy dense technology. You'll see it up in the front nose that replaces the generator. This show unit's got 2,200 watts of solar on the roof. Um, and then um, Total has actually 36 kilowatt hours of wow. energy on board. That's awesome. So it has like as much as a Chevy Pulse. That's amazing. <laughs> All the run air conditioning. Oh yeah. Hey, it's a Mario. <laughs> Peace and love. Oh, it's like a full-on parade. I love this. Arr. Ah, yes. There they are. It's the last day of the Florida RV Super Show, and we decided to save Alliance for last. They are one of the new players to the game here with fifth wheel uh, travel trailers and toy haulers and we're going to check them out. They're super high quality. They've tried to alle alleviate a lot of the pinch points that RVers, you know, complain about 
and these are set up for full timing. So let's go in and check it out. All right, the first thing we're gonna be checking out is the Valor line of toy haulers from Alliance RV. This is the 36 V11. Show price is $112,995. Uh, list was $136,048, giving you a savings of $23,053. Let's check out what this unit has to offer. Starting out, you got a full pass-through storage here. There's also a 12 volt compressor on board here somewhere. We're gonna have to find that. This is your propane. This is a 12 volt setup. It's got the Renogy uh, charge controller. It's got solar on board. Since they already have the hydraulics on board for the levelers, They've gone ahead and passed that through to the large slide. So large slides are all hydraulic as well. Now this unit also has a fueling station on board and an air compressor. Let's step back in here to the garage and check it out. This has got the Happy Jack bed. A lot of these toy haulers do. So you have a nice workspace. There's a table that slides in right here. This is also has the uh, the lipper patio doors on here. It's all screened in. Nice little patio out back. This is cool. Great place to entertain. There's plenty of storage up here for all your goodies. 12 volt to TV. Half bath. Nice. If you want to shove the kids in the garage, at least they have a bathroom to use. Washer dryer hookups. That's great. That's great that it's back here and not actually there is a washer dryer hookup in the bedroom, but it's good to have it here it's just in case there's a leak, at least at least in the garage and not in the main cabin. Oh, you got a nice big couch right here. Do these recline? They recline. Oh, they're power recliners. They're power recliners. Oh, this is great. Oh, yeah. It goes all the way out. Tons of storage in this unit. I really like this. JBL audio. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, JBL stereo. A little fireplace is nice. And I know you always say you want the TV directly in front of you on the couch, but this still really isn't that bad. It's not too, it's, it's, it's not too bad. Yeah. The kitchen is. I love these countertops. <laughs> Solid epoxy poured tops. They're pretty. And look, come on, look at this oven. It actually, like has room. Oh yeah. Has room to cook in. So. 12 volt refrigerator, right? Yeah. Now this has got, look at all the 12 volt accessories they got. 12 volt air compressor, fuel tank pump, 12 volt recliners. We got charge ports, TV, bedroom TV, the stereo system, the slide outs lift. Everything is all 12 volt. And so, they got the solar on board. Yeah. So, so that means you can run a lot of stuff on the battery, right? Yep. So if you're boondocking. Yeah, this even has the Renogy uh, lithium uh, batteries as well. That's pretty awesome. Here's your power center right here. They got the controllers for the batteries and the uh, solar here. Here's your all your all your breakers, whatnot. So one of the cool things about this brand of RV is they do kind of a full PDI and torture test of the unit before it even leaves the factory. You know how important that is? Like, that's real important. I haven't met, to date, I haven't met a single person who bought a brand new rig and didn't have a horror story. Why? Because every other manufacturer doesn't do a PDI. So when I heard this company did that, <laughs> I'm like, I gotta at least check them out. That's yeah. pretty cool. Other manufacturers, once the rig leaves their assembly line and goes to the dealer, they leave it up to the dealer to PDI it and fix things and really up to the end user to even notice if there's anything wrong so they can get it fixed. Yeah. But this company doesn't do that. And if you don't know what PDI means, it just means pre-delivery inspection. Is this a Serta king size bed? Yeah. Is there any storage? Underneath? Yeah. Yes, there is. Oh, that's a lot of storage. Yeah, ton of storage. That's right important. There. Of course, the closet's back here. You got the hanging closet. This is all lit. It's a nice touch. There's your washer uh, dryer prep back here as well. It's if you wanted to put it here. Yeah. Huh. There's also another hanging closet on this side. Nice. Cool. I like 
I like this right here next to the bed. There's a little shelf here. You got uh, USB ports, 110 outlets. This is cool. A little uh, jewelry box, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Let's go check out the next floor plan. Okay, yeah, let's go. All right, the next unit we're gonna look at here is the Valor 43V13. And our friends that we met at the show, Nut and Adventure, Nut and Gade, they just bought this one. So I'm excited to see their travels with this and how they like it. Yeah. Look at that big pantry. Lots of storage. This oh, yeah. is like, you can live in this. I mean, you can live in smaller campers, but you could live in this and be very comfortable. Little dinette here. That's cool. Lots of windows. You can see see out wherever you're camped. Little bar area. Make yourself a cocktail. More storage underneath here. Storage above that as well. Three-place sofa. They are recliners. Yes, they are. And that's directly across from your... 4K TV. The loft is up here. Looks like they got the uh, teddy bear bunk mattresses up there. Stepping out into the garage. Washer dryer prep. This one's two feet larger than the other. Yep. You got a full bath. So there's a shower, potty, and sink back here. The other one we just saw, the length was 39 yep. feet, eight inches. This one is 44 feet, one inch. Yeah. Happy Jack bed. Nice big patio out back here as well. Let's move to the front. Yeah, here's all your, all your controls. I kind of like the, uh, you know, these uh, switches here. I'm not really, yeah, I'm not really a fan of these, uh, you know, digital screens that control everything. So yeah. I'm kind of happy to see the, uh, the actual panel here. I agree. So there's your battery monitor for your lithium so generator. Hot. Love the dimmers here. Look at this. Yes. You can dim these lights. Really set your mood. Set the mood. <laughs> Speaking of setting the mood. Barn door in leading into the uh, master bathroom here. This has got the soft closed toilet. One piece shower pan here. And the, the bedroom's the same as the other one. The cool closets, the yep. hookups for washer dryer again. Your little hidden storage. So you travel with the with the door in the open position. So it's not banging all over the place. Cool. I'm sure you'd really like that. It's got the shoe storage. I think the other one had that as oh, well. Oh, yeah. And when I don't you come have in. to yell at you constantly about putting your shoes away, mister. Mm -hmm. Let's move on to the next one. Now, which model is this? Oh, that's cool. It has a... The side patio. <laughs> so we are in the Valor 42B13. Show price is $124.9. Similar to floor plan is when we were just in. Yeah, very similar. Very similar table. Except this has the side patio. Yeah. It's kind of neat. Kind of neat. Dual doors here, huge. Half bath right here. They're all they're all similar in a sense. Yeah. Because they're all the toy haulers, so there's only so many, you know variations you can do make the floor plan this can sleep a lot of people sure can sure can there's no carpet in this unit either i like that so look at this no carpet zone pet friendly i like that it's one of the worst things about slide rooms you know you get the pets that like the go and hide out under the tables and <laughs> he's talking about our pets yeah <laughs> bedroom is exactly the same here hey if it works don't fix it right yep it's a, it's a nice setup 
Oh yeah, that's the first thing you're going to notice when you look at this uh, this unit. Instead of just graphics, it has a full body paint. Do the other ones have outdoor kitchens or little entertainment areas? No, this is the only one that I so far that I know. Yeah, I think so. Or what I like to call the beer fridge. Yep. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Warranty for full time RV. Sticker up there that says that. But this is a, a different floor plan. I like this. I like it. I can see the bedroom is probably the same. It's the same, but still nice. So the TV's here, and you got a little U shaped kitchen. Wow, look at these big cabinets. These are some massive cabinets. Nice. It looks like there's some storage around here as well. Back on this side. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. A ton of storage. This, this flips up and down. A little extra. Yeah, because that's got to move for the slide to come in. Right. Oh, there's your pantry. Yeah, so it basically seems like the main differences between the different floor plans here are is the living area floor plan and the kind of length of the garage yeah well like everything said, else the bedrooms are pretty much identical yeah well, like i said before it's, it's a toy hauler so there's really not much you know you could do and still have the opening for the toy hauler yeah you know, garage in the back yeah this is kind of a standard yeah. layout all the headboards all look a little different you know i'm sure there's different trim options yeah you could get one of the really cool things that sets these guys apart is with the plumbing as well on these units. They all have shutoff valves. The toilet is gonna have a shutoff valve, so if there's a leak, um, it's not gonna spoil your trip. Look at this. They have a shutoff valve here. You come and you look at the uh, shutoff valves for hot and cold. Any place where there's a faucet or an appliance or fixture of some sort that runs on water, there will be a way to shut it off. Very well thought out. Look at this. Even on this toilet, there's a shut off. There's shut offs. I mean, if you have one little leak, you're able just to kill it right there. Kill that leak. You have a leaky faucet, turn the shut off, and it's taken care of. There's a quick breakdown of the product from Alliance RV. They have three brands right now, and I'm sure that's gonna expand in the future. You know, their and their motto is do the right thing, so. Do the right thing. Gotta have some funnel cake when you come to the fairgrounds, right? Mm. Well, that about wraps it up for the 2022 Florida RV Super Show. Can't wait to come back next year. The industry has changed so much. All the new product this year, you know, this big jump to a lot of lithium, electric, electric yeah. RVs, everything. But yeah, it was so awesome. Met a lot of awesome people, saw a lot of really cool new rigs. We'll see you next time. Peace. Bye. There we go. All right, you guys better subscribe to Apple and Raw. Just press that there button and you're going to be part of the family. Just like me. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Billy Bob. All right, guys. <laughs>